Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in Maya. We're in Maya 2023 and we're going to be talking about something very cool today. How to create your private very own asset library. Now, what's an asset library and why would you want one? Let's say you model um, architectural stuff all the time, uh, buildings, interiors and whatnot. And you don't want to model the door frame over and over and over because sometimes you can use that door frame more than once. So you start to build a library with door frames, window frames, window sills, roof tiles. You get the idea. Okay. Now you want to save them somewhere so you have quick access to them. And what you don't want is to scroll through some directory on your PC with a whole bunch of names that don't mean anything. Right. Now, there's an option in Maya that will allow you to create a uh, very cool asset library, including thumbnails. And I'm going to show you how. Well, it's located in the content browser. And if you go up to Windows and you go to uh, the bottom, it says content browser. If you click on that, you have a tab here called favorites. So you got examples and then you just jump to the left or to the right. And on the right here is favorites. And what I did is I created a folder called assets on my, uh, on my desktop and I created subfolders for certain assets that I save up. So I made musical instruments, I made props, toys, whatnot. Right. And I would save them there. Now let's say I want to add a folder to that directory because, um, I don't know, I'm in a model characters and I want to save up body parts. So what I would do is I would uh, right click, go to new directory. We'll call it body parts. Let's go full Dexter on this body parts. There you go. And that is where I want to add an asset. Okay. Now let's close that out. Let's create a body part. Alrighty. Here we go. Here's a human head, which you can clearly see, right? Not going to model a head. That's not what the video is about, right? Let's just uh, use our imagination and say that this is a human head. Alrighty, now I want to save that in my asset library. So I have it selected and then go up to file and export selection. Hit the option box. I'm going to select as a file type Maya ASCII. And it's going to say, uh, if I scrub down, 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 down. And it says thumbnail play blast options. Now I want to save a thumbnail. Like I said, I want to see a kind of an example of the prop instead of just simply a name. So it's much easier to pick from, right? Okay. So I'm going to click on capture. It will create this yellow box around it. I can choose how I want to have it displayed. In this case, it's just a simple sphere, but I could go in here and move it around if I wanted, right? And especially if you're uh, having a lot of assets, it would be kind of neat to have them kind of oriented in the same way. Let's say I'm happy with this, but I don't want the wireframe. There you go. Okay, we'll do that. And I'm going to say capture that thumbnail. And there you go. A human head, clearly, right? Cool. So let's save that out. So put it in here. Now we have the thumbnail. We have everything else. We do need to make sure that this guy is selected when we export it. Otherwise he doesn't know what to export because we're clicking on export selection. Click on that. It's going to ask me where I want to do that. I'm going to go to assets. We're going to go to body parts and I'm going to call this human head. There you go. And export that. Okay. Next day in, we're going to get rid of this. We're going to go up to file and new scene, right? And we're working on a character and we need a human head. We're going to go up to windows. We're going to go to content browsers. We're going to go and click on, where is it? Body parts. And uh, here's a human head with an example of a human head. Now we're going to click on this and we're going to right click and you can import it or you can use a reference. And um, that's a whole different thing. I did a video on that, but for now, we're just going to click on import it. All right. Let's move it out of the way. And there is our human head. That's all there's to it, guys. Uh, hopefully this is helpful for you. Um, I use this uh, quite a bit. I think it's really awesome. Uh, I was so sick and tired of scrolling through names of files where I had no idea what they were. This is a game changer for me. So hopefully it is for you as well. Let me know in the comments what you think. 
that's it guys for today thanks for watching if you like the video you know what to do and see you guys next time bye well thanks for watching and before you go please hit that mh button to subscribe okay see you guys next time bye